Well, good morning. I told you that I have a reoccurring problem with this, with the charging system. Well, it's reoccurring again. You're watching the Kota Kuna Rider YouTube channel. So if you watch the video that I put out about changing the regulator down here, it's the next day. I jumped on my bike this morning to go for a ride and my voltmeter, which I have here, said 17 volts. So this regulator that I fitted yesterday under here is faulty. <laughs> I can't believe I have these problems with this charging system. So I've got my, I've pulled my seat off, I've pulled my cover off, just to give me plenty of space to look around. I've got my multimeter here. So let's start the bike up, turn the multimeter on, and let's check this voltage and see what it's actually doing. You can see that multimeter okay. Now remember, whenever you're doing any sort of checks with a multimeter, checking your charging, checking your battery, anything, make sure that your battery is fully charged. So I've just charged it all up. So here we go. I've got my negative here on my positive. The battery is charged, beautiful. Okay, so what I want to show you now is how you can check how good your battery is on your bike with a multimeter. So you can see now my ignition's on, headlights off, so 12.69. So when I crank the bike over to start, this reading should not go under 10 volts. If it goes under 10 volts, you've got a problem with your battery. Okay, so let's watch it carefully. So mine was still in 11 volts, so okay. Check. Now, let's check the voltage of this charging. So look at that at either, it's great, 13, 5, 6, it should be, or 14 volts. With the engine running, the charging should be between 13.5 and 14.5. So now let's give this a rev. I'm shutting that off. That is no good. If you're getting over your 14.4 volts, you can start to burn out your battery and you can burn out all the other electrical components on your bike because there's too much energy running through the bike, too much power, and the system is not made for 17 volts. So, you know what I have to do again? Pull off that regulator and have a look. But, I want to show you something. I was going to put the old <laughs> regulator back on. I was digging around again in my box of goodies and look what I found. This is a brand new regulator, brand new, that I bought from China to test and I never ever tested it. I think it cost me like $10. It's just a cheap Chinese regulator <laughs> we're going to test it today to see if it's any good i've actually ordered a really good uh, regulator that i'm going to fit onto the bike when it arrives but today <laughs> let's pull this regulator back off that i put on yesterday and we're going to fit this one up and see what it's like okay i've undone my bolts <clears throat> there's the regulator that we put on yesterday 
So I'm going to pull this all off. I'm going to change this plug here. So it matches up with the new regulator. We're going to put it back together and test it. Let's get going. I tried to give away all I had. My mind was full of my, my mistake. I've been too fragile through my life. And I'm missing you so bad. Don't know if I should go, you back. You know it's getting dark inside my head. I feel there's something that is stopping me now uh. If you watch my other video, I go into much more detail how this works But just quickly, your generator or stator sends a power to the regulator The regulator decides whether the battery needs power to run the system because the battery is getting drained or not, this decides and sends the correct amount of current through this cable up to the battery and charging your battery. So now it's all connected, we've got it earthed out. Remember you can earth it to any part of your bike because your bike is earth. Okay, so let's now set you back up on the top and we'll start it up and have a look at the multimeter and see what's happening with this cheap $10 <laughs> I can't believe I'm fitting a $10 regulator to my bike and uh, see what happens. You can see okay, just checking the power. I always check. No problems. 12.96, nearly 13. No problems there. Ignition on. It all back together under here. I'll put the cover on in a sec. Oh, there's cars going past the truck. <laughs> Some people ask, what is this here? This is the gasoline tank or the fuel tank or the petrol tank here. Remember on the VMAXs, you fill them underneath the seat. And this is a tank there. So our center of gravity on the bike is lowered from having the gasoline tank here instead of up here where normal bikes are. Because on the VMAX you'll see I've got one, two, and two carbies on the other side. We've got four carbies, carburetors, and this is the air filter up the top. Here is my reservoir tank for the overflow tank for my radiator you can see it's running beautiful the temperature since we fitted that new radiator and it's exactly on full perfect that new radio is radiator is absolutely fantastic so with these four carburetors sitting under the engine here that give this bike unbelievable power air filter up here and the tank down there. You know, don't worry that, you know, you have these little problems from time to time with your bike. This is the great part of owning a bike, repairing it yourself, finding out what's wrong, knowing your bike, and when something does go wrong, you can fix it. I know that the it's got a brand new stator. I know it's got a brand new regulator now, even though it's only a $10 cheap Chinese one. I know that the voltage is all okay. If it got, something goes wrong, I can test. Is it the stator? Is it the regulator? This is the great fun of owning a bike. It's more than just a ride like a car. 
it's a hobby, it's a love, it's an interest, it's uh, it gets you out of the house. I hate watching TV. I hate it. So the repairing these sort of things, finding out the problem, making videos for you to watch is a great joy to me. So thanks a lot. We'll go out for a ride tonight with some of my friends. And I'll take you along for a few minutes. Thanks again. And I'll see you on the next video. And always remember, drive like you know each other. Bye bye. Something that is, I feel there's something that is, I feel there's something that is stopping me now. Oh, and I try to forget all what I had, but is my mind really gonna cut you out? I feel like no prayers are gonna help myself. No. Call you back, you know it's getting dark inside my head. I feel there's something that is stopping me now. Oh. Something that is, I feel there's something that is, I feel there's something that is stopping me now. Oh.